top of the day to the enthusiasts. I'm SkyGuyR12 Turn, and this is part two of a three-part series celebrating 100 subscribers. This will be my first coaster review where I go in depth, and currently my third roller coaster review. Now I haven't done this in about four months, but here it is, back as a chapter to celebrate 100 subscribers, and like I said, in depth. This will cover Jolly Rancher Remix, a steel coaster located at Hershey Park in Hershey, Pennsylvania, United States. Now, I know what you're telling me. Sky Guy, you're actually very close to 200 subscribers, so you're very late. Yes, I know. In case you didn't know, I posted the first part in July, which was a vlog where I rode my 100th coaster. Please go check it out if you can. It'll be in the card above. And for the third part, I'll go live to celebrate just like I did when I reached 10 subscribers. So stay tuned for part three. It'll be fun chatting with you guys. Anyways, before we get into the review, I want to say... <clears throat> this video is sponsored by Rage Shot. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Jeez. I just wanted to put that edge so I can get a good laugh. I want to tell you to please consider subscribing to the channel. It's free and always one step closer to my ultimate goal of 100,000 subscribers. You have no idea how hard I work on my videos, so subscribing makes my content worth it. And like you probably mentioned, I am so freaking close to 200 so- So without further ado, let's get into the review. In 1984, Dutch manufacturer Vakalma debuted their first boomerang at Bella Warde called, well, Boomerang. And since then, the manufacturer has been making these kinds of coasters all over the world, which just goes to show how successful the model was. In fact, it was so successful that it led Vakalma making numerous inspirations of the model, including the inverted boomerang, giant inverted boomerang, family boomerang, and the one and only Big Air. Now, we all know the Vacoma Boomerang is one of the most cloned roller coasters in the industry, and Hershey Park was one of the parks that got one. If you've seen my successful video covering Jolly Rancher Remix's pros and cons, you know one of the cons is that it lacks uniqueness, and that's something I have to complain about. If it lacks uniqueness, that wouldn't give the consumer a reason to visit the park because there's so many coasters in the world like it. This may not be a big complaint, but was Hershey Park really in dire need of a Vacoma boomerang? May 11th, 1991. It's over 800 feet of mesmerizing curves, faster than a Texas twister, and it's gonna rattle the toughest hombre. The Sidewinder, coiled and ready to strike at Hershey Park. Hershey Park's Vacoma Boomerang opened to the public as Sidewinder. It was themed to a snake, which is actually what the name means. A Sidewinder is a nocturnal burrowing rattlesnake that slithers in S curves. Great name, Hershey Park. Great name. But everything else? Well, that's probably my favorite part of the ride at least before it was Jolly Rancher Remix. When Sidewinder opened, it had those old trains with plastic over the shoulder restraints from Vacoma. But in 2011, the trains had the restraints changed to the vest restraints. Though I never rode it with the old trains, I didn't like it back when it was Sidewinder. My first ride came in May of 2016. This would be my 10th coaster at the park after riding Sky Rush. I was trying to conquer the roller coasters back then, but Sidewinder... I didn't like it at all. After the catch car released the train, which dashed through the station, then went through the culver roll, and that was my main problem with Sidewinder. During that element, my head harshly banged into the vests, and the loop didn't help either. Even worse, this is a shuttle coaster, which meant I had to face the Cobra roll twice, right? I got the same bang into the restraints again, and the loop somehow got even more uncomfortable because it was more forceful. After getting off, I hereby declared that Sidewinder was the most painful ride at Hershey Park. Yes, even more painful than Wildcat. 
And then I was hesitant to ride it for a long time until October of 2020, when me and my friend Caden decided to ride it. We rode it in the back row because I thought that may have been the best and least intimidating row on the coaster. No, front row is better. That ride was better. I didn't get any headbanging whatsoever, but there was something else worse than my 2016 ride, the loop. Like we said, we were in the back, but it turns out that's where you feel the loop the most. The Coma Boomerangs are arguably the most forceful coaster clones out there because of this. You reach a total of 5.2 Gs. That was forceful, but uncomfortable. However, Sidewinder went from being my least favorite coaster at Hershey Park to now being better than Wild Mouse and Trailblazer. In September of 2021, Sidewinder closed for the rest of the season, and then the speculation was on. Some roller coaster enthusiasts conclude that Sidewinder would be closing for good. I don't remember what my prediction was. My friend Grant, aka Hershey Park Enthusiast, has a video covering that coaster's future, which I'll put in the cards. Feel free to check it out if you want to. The next month, we got a message that the rumors were false. Hershey Park started repainting the track green, then a few of the supports blue, another of them pink, and the last ones dark purple. Hershey Park enthusiast said this color scheme was damn disgusting, and I couldn't agree more with him. Sure, it may scream candy like the Hershey Company, but honestly, this slimy combination just makes me and my friends want to go... 3, 2, 1, go! You know, back in my aforementioned Jolly Rancher Remix pros and cons video, that the cons were the color scheme and the impact it has on the park's Pioneer Frontier section, right? This is serious as well. Pioneer Frontier is a section at Hershey Park that's supposed to have this Wild West theme. And when it was Sidewinder, it blended in just fine with this. But two candy themed attractions in there makes no freaking sense. Not to mention how loud its soundtrack is let alone to interrupt a section that's arguably the best at Hershey Park. February 22nd, 2022. Hershey Park announced Sidewinder's rebranding to Jolly Rancher Remix. It would come with a Semperla Nebula Z named Mix, flavored by Jolly Rancher. May 28th, 2022. Jolly Rancher Remix and Mix, flavored by Jolly Rancher, opened to the public, and it turned out to be quite interesting. Some roller coaster enthusiasts, like X Screen Thrills, traveled all the way to Hershey Park to ride it, even though it was just a Vacoma boomerang. So that's got to hint that Jolly Rancher Remix is now one of the world's best Vacoma boomerangs, right? Well, not in my opinion. What? Two days after it reopened, I rode it for the first time with the aforementioned Hershey Park enthusiast, Aaron, aka Great Bear Productions, and Luke, aka Luke's Coasters. It was fun for me to ride it with them, which fortunately is partly why I think the ride experience was an improvement. So let's get started. First you board the trains. Thankfully they're the same trains with the vests, so it's just fine. Or is it? Well, what's my opinion on the Vacoma vest restraints? They aren't great, per se. They surely secure you, but I've never gotten stapled by these restraints. I think they're meh. The trains, however, are a flaw because they're sort of cramped. You may have trouble finding a spot for your feet. After it's all clear, the catch car catches the train and you slowly ascend up the hill with the music building up anticipation. I'd say this is an amazing way to be entertained while waiting to drop especially since you get a great and easy view of the park. Next, the catch car releases and you drop. This drop is mediocre because you don't get airtime. I mean, it's a Vacoma Boomerang, what would you expect? You don't get airtime on a Vacoma Boomerang. Or good whip. You just speed up to your top speed and sprint into the Cobra Roll, which may be kind of janky, but great news ladies and gentlemen, no headbanging! 
Then you enter the tunnel, which releases a scent of five Jolly Rancher flavors. Cherry, green apple, blue raspberry, grape, and watermelon. I don't think I've gotten all of these nor have a favorite. So moving on to the loop. It's intense, which if you want- Okay, sorry guys, but I'm no longer going to reference my pros and cons of Jolly Rancher Remix because it's just very much ever for me just to say for comparison. Okay, moving on. The lift hill catches your train and you ascend back up forwards. After less than 20 seconds later, you fall down and feel the loop again, still delivering the advertised 5.2 Gs if you're in the back. And then, you go through the Cobra Roll backwards. And, not gonna lie, I like this more than the vertical loop. The element that I used to dislike really much when it was Sidewinder is now what I prefer to its loop. Finally, you head back to the station, then slowing down, changing direction, and then slowly slithering to the station. Ah! Ending the 1 minute 48 second ride time on Jolly Rancher Remix. Now, what else is there to talk about? Oh yeah, the stats. Can't forget about those. Jolly Rancher Remix reaches a top height of 116.5 feet, speeds up to 47 miles per hour, length of 935 feet, has three inversions, times two, and pulls 5.2 G's as aforementioned. These are what most Wacoma boomerangs have. How about the soundtrack? It's not fantastic, but I like it. Jolly Rancher Remix has eight verses of its soundtrack package. Three of them are part of its station, while five of them cover the Jolly Rancher flavors. Out of these, my favorite is definitely either watermelon or cherry. It was a pretty difficult decision, but I'll think about it. The name? Hershey Park, you nailed it. It's better than Sidewinder, and I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10. This name is on point and perfectly describes the roller coaster. Jolly Rancher Remix. It's a coaster themed to Jolly Rancher that has a soundtrack that sounds like a remix. And now it's time for the official score. And for Jolly Rancher Remix at Hershey Park, I'm giving it a 3 out of 10. Now, you may be surprised that it's a low score, but remember, when it comes to giving coasters a score, my tendency is on the lower side. My review will be as short of the other Bacoma boomerangs I've ridden, and in Vertigo. And I'll give them the same score. But I'll say this is my favorite Bacoma boomerang that I've ridden. Jolly Rancher Remix may have its strengths, but it's got big flaws. So those are my thoughts on Jolly Rancher Remix at Hershey Park. If you've watched this video all the way through, thanks. This was my first in-depth review, and I sincerely hope it paid off. If you've ridden Jolly Rancher Remix, or when it was Sidewinder, what are your thoughts? I would love it if you'd let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean the world to me if you'd subscribe to the channel. Once again, I'm very close to 200 subscribers, and it would make my content worth making. Not to mention my ultimate goal of 100,000 subscribers. Don't forget to like the video for more viewers to take a look, and follow me on Instagram. Oh, and I shouldn't forget about Roblox either. You'd really love to check out that app. Thank you all so much for watching this video all the way through. And as always, enjoy your 205 foot drop on Skyrush.